swing, we're actually going to go into a squat position and then come back up. So we are looking for not only a hinging of the hips, so they need to go back, but we're also going to move down into a squat and then come back up and then drive the kettlebell up. So as far as your low back is concerned, you want to maintain a neutral position all the time. So we're not going to go any flexing or extending the spine. As you come down, drive the hips back, down in the squat position, back up. We're not turning this into a front raise, so don't lift it with your shoulders. It's the momentum you're generating through your legs. That's what's going to carry the kettlebell further up. As far as getting into position, grab the kettlebell, step back, tilt it towards you, and then as you swing, you're going to go right into your first repetition. Or you can start standing, and it's about the third one. You can get your power into it, and then that's where I would start my rep count. So the keys are, we're going to have hip pinch to initiate the movement, but then go down into a squat. As you come up, no lifting with the shoulders, and make sure you keep your back nice and neutral the whole time.